but I would encourage you if you can ride now get out there and ride because the guilt I have the guilt that you might have or, or maybe not guilt replace guilt with hey I wish I wish I could ride I wish the weather was nicer all that stuff well take advantage of it while you can timing welcome back or welcome to the channel love to have you here love to have you back my word it's been some time I talked a mean game a couple videos ago about how I've been riding this motorcycle for three weeks straight I rode my bike for damn near three weeks straight which was a lot of fun anytime I get a chance to ride the bike it's it's uh <laughs> you know I'm anytime I get a chance to take my bike I'm gonna take it my car is whispering as I go by. My truck is leaking some windshield wiper fluid. <laughs> Just tears of sadness every time I go by. Love this road, Land of Promise. Perfect name right there. Take the old bike down Land of Promise Road. So during that three week straight, I was riding to, to work, I was riding off duty. Just enjoying the ride. Perfect ride. Look at this. Look at that. Come on now. Just look at it. Perfect ride. But I am guilty. I feel guilty because I have tarnished that all. I've ruined that streak. The streak is over. It's been over for like three weeks now. A couple days ago, I rode to one of my buddy's houses and we were working on that project that I've mentioned a couple times on this on this channel. And it was the first time I rode this bike, rode a motorcycle in like three weeks. So I went three weeks on and three weeks off. And I'm telling you, I felt so guilty because I just wasted three weeks. Well, I say I wasted three weeks of, of riding weather, but it was far from riding weather. The temperature's hot, who cares? Temperature's cold, who cares? But the rain, I can't do that. I don't I don't want to ride in the rain. I you know, it's just I'm good. That's I guess that's my uh there's people that have rain gear and all that and and they can do that. I'm good. <laughs> I'll wait. I'll ride in hundred degrees, I'll ride in thirty degree weather, but I'm not trying to ride in, in the rain. And that's I swear it's great for this all here. This this rainwater, hey, be thankful for. But my word, every day we've been, been getting rain or a chance of rain, thunderstorms and all that. And I love a good thunderstorm. Don't get me wrong. But when it's when I'm able to ride, I want the thunder to come from the exhaust pipe. <laughs> that's stupid, but it's true. Oh no! I do want to go straight. Let's go. Another motorcycle. Come on. Yeah, it's me and my buddy. We're just riding around. <laughs> nah, I have no idea who that is. Is that a boat pad? Uh, we're about to find out. <laughs> it's awesome. Oh, that's a motorcycle. We're good. So we'll ride with him. We're going to ride with him for a little bit. And does anybody else feel guilty when they don't ride their bike for a while? Because I certainly did. It was crazy, though, because in the beginning, everybody who rides, most people that watch this, I'm sure, either ride a motorcycle or, or have ridden a motorcycle. I uh, The last video I released was seven reasons why we watch motor vlogs. And I mentioned, you know, for the most part, <laughs> almost all those reasons were because, you know, somebody rides or, or you know, does or, or will, did, whatever. Which way are you going? I'm going the opposite way. See it, dude. Oh, it's so fast. So fast. <laughs> All right. You know what? No. Nah. We're going that way. We're going towards the sun. We're going towards those clouds right there. Let's change this up a little bit. This is going to be a nice view. Oh, don't mind me, you know. Just doing my thing. All right. What I was getting at, does anybody else feel guilty when they don't ride? 
especially for an extended period of time. Look at that, baby. It's crazy. It's crazy where I live. I love it. There's so many. You don't have to go far to see whatever you want. Like I said, I mentioned before, the rural, the city, urban. I got, we got farmland, we got city, got high rises, we got all kinds of stuff around here. It doesn't take long to get to whatever you want to see. So everybody's gonna be able to relate to what I'm about to say. You remember the first time you got your bike. You remember the, your first bike. You remember the feeling you had when you rode the bike, how fast it felt, just like even driving a car. If you don't have a motorcycle, never had one. When you drove a car, I remember thinking to myself, well, golly, going like, 35 miles an hour felt like I was going 55 you know 45 miles an hour I was like I remember I was like well you know if they I'd be okay if they they lowered the speed limit a little bit you know this is plenty fast and you get used to it obviously muscle memory ah oh, damn that was a huge bug god dang that thing hit me in the neck how do people oh my god how do people wear I have to wear a full face shield good lord that's another ah oh, damn I got hit again I'm getting pelted over here this is a mistake <laughs> that thing hit me right in the chest. All right, I'll be fine. You know what? No. Nah. We're going that way. We're going towards the sun. He chose poorly. <laughs> I'll be fine. All right, glutton for punishment. I should turn off, but we're going to go. We're going to go even faster. Oh, shit. We're going straight. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm going to put the old four wheels down for this guy. What's up, buddy? <laughs> Keep the four wheels down, my buddy. All right, so here's the deal. Golly, man, I just got pelted. I'm trying to think where I was. <laughs> there I was, Charlie, all around us. But do you remember the first bike you had or the first vehicle you drove? Golly, man, did you see that? I just dodged the hell out of that one, too. Uh, I'm trying. I'm trying to tell a damn story. I'm trying. Mother Nature has pelted me. Oh, gosh. I'll be all right. So you remember, where was I? Let's try again. <laughs> oh, man. Let's go deeper. I shouldn't be going home, but let's go deeper. We want some bigger bugs. We're going to hit a damn pterodactyl before it's over. All right. <laughs> Uh, wrong gear. Anyway, you remember the first time, <laughs> let me speak, that you started operating a vehicle, a car, a motorcycle, preferably a motorcycle, and you remember that feeling, that rush you had. If anybody's ridden in a convertible, you remember the first time you rode in a convertible? There's so many different ways to explain this, examples. But from the traditional cager, dare I say, with the windows up or the windows down, it feels good. Everybody likes the windows down at some point, right? They just enjoy the, the, the fresh air, the wind, you know, cooling off and it's blowing through your hair. Or if you're bald, your eyebrow hair, whatever, it doesn't matter. Well, now imagine that amplified by a thousand on, on a motorcycle. Or, you know, we get, you get near a, a convertible or a friend's convertible for the first time. And how awesome it feels with the top down. It's because it's away from the norm. So after not riding, this is where the story's going, after not riding for three weeks, even though I've ridden for, you know, I, I think quite some time, not not a long time compared to, to compared to a lot of people, I'm not gonna say that, but I've been riding since 2016, 2017. And, and while doing that, I've got to the point where I'm just as comfortable when it comes to operating a motorcycle, as I am a bicycle, as I am my, my car, my truck, the fire truck, the ambulance, you know, you just get used to it. Well, if you take a break, and I don't, <laughs> I guess you could compare it to putting the bike away for the season, for the winter. But if I, I took my three week break, my three week hiatus, not on purpose, this is real bad weather and some other stuff, where I wasn't able to, to ride to work, and I got on it and oh my gosh, you know, the smile was back. I mean, it's always back, but that smile where like, you don't realize you're smiling until you, <laughs> you start riding like a mile into it and you're like, oh man, I have missed this. I had a video way back when, and I rode to work and it was like, I mean, it honestly it was like 32 degrees. I think I wrote it um, later on in the video or the YouTube short. But by, by the time I got to work, my teeth were chattering.
Yeah, I feel pretty good. My hands, these are just regular gloves. There's nothing special about them. <laughs> I feel pretty good. I don't have like winter gear or anything. It was a, a sweatshirt and some gloves and my hands were frozen. The 15 minutes was like my max with the wind chill and all that stuff. The real feel they say nowadays. I saved the chart for what it feels like when you're on a motorcycle, what the wind chill or the real feel is. And I put it right here. But I remember getting to work and I needed that ride. I just, you know, I needed it. It's hard to explain, maybe, maybe not to, to others, but it just needed that, that feeling. So even though it was gonna be free, I was gonna be frozen by the time I got to work and, and it was gonna be cold and, and somewhat miserable, it was to a degree, but not, not what you would think it would be. So I enjoyed it. And I remember saying, I needed this. And I laughed as I was saying it. Oh, shit. Yep, Gra grass in the road. It's like the worst thing. He does not have a motorcycle or know anybody that has a motorcycle. You don't do that. Uh, anyway, everything's trying to kill me. <laughs> You're a true motor vlogger. Everything's trying to kill you. Oh, between the, the bugs that felt like bricks and, and grass all on the road. and Yeah. All right. Keep it going. <laughs> oh, man. What a nice ride. So nice. But that just, I needed that. I needed that, right? And the same thing with this one. You know, you, I guess I didn't realize. I didn't realize. I know I didn't realize it had been three weeks. It wasn't until I realized I was like, I stopped smiling. I was, because I started thinking. I was like, man, what? When's the last time I've been on this? And I. I measure my life uh, three weeks at a time because that's our that's our work cycle. Oh boy, everybody everybody's trying to kill me. So I, I measure my life, like I said, that's a work cycle. The end of the cycle, you go on a five day break. I mentioned it plenty of times, but uh, I remember I was like, shoot, shoot. I remember thinking to myself, man, I haven't I haven't ridden in since last cycle, so it was three weeks. And that was why. So I instantly got back to that feeling. Well, I encourage you to get out there and ride. You're gonna feel, if you feel guilty for not riding, you might have a little problem, like you're obsessed, slightly obsessed. <laughs> now nah, I mentioned it's a, it's all for good. It's a, it's a good, it's a good habit, a good hobby, good lifestyle, good, great community. All this, you know, I should replace good with great. <laughs> this is like all my videos last week's video of the seven reasons why we watch motor vlogs was the most structured video i've ever done or ever attempted and i think i only had like two tangents where i saw an old lady and i i, I flirted with her as i went by and the uh, two motorcycles that were for sale i made a comment about that like stopped myself interrupted myself <laughs> uh, i can't be tamed i can't be controlled Anarchy. <laughs> but it feels good to be back. That's, uh, I guess, the, the gist of this video. Getting out and riding. I've mentioned before, it doesn't make me any tougher than anybody else. But I ride all year round. And I'm able to. I don't, you know, it gets, it gets cold, it gets hot or whatever. It doesn't matter. But I would encourage you, if you can ride now, get out there and ride. Because... The guilt I have, the guilt that you might have, or, or maybe not guilt, replace guilt with, hey, I wish, I wish I could ride, I wish the weather was nicer, all that stuff. Well, take advantage of it while you can. Depending on where you live, your riding season might be shorter or longer. And it is what it is. There's some ways to combat that, obviously, with the, you know your riding gear and everything, but there's only so many days that you'll be able to ride and, and uh, you never promise tomorrow. Especially if all these Brick laying bugs. Must have been a bird. Damn, another bird. What's up? Must have been a bird that hit me in the neck. Thing was huge. See if I can amplify it. Let me go back to the replay. How big was that bug? Yeah, that's about right. That's about, that's about right. I think it had thorns on it too. <laughs> I was talking about the windshield, what it feels like, the real feel. But how about when you hit a hit a, hit a beetle going X amount of miles per hour? What does that feel like? I'm gonna ride a little longer, film a video on the way back. But oh, man, it's a nice view. It's gonna be even a nicer view on the way back home. The sun sets a little bit. Until next time, y'all take care. Thanks for watching and enjoy the ride.